Hi, my name is Nagme Abedini. I'm the wife of imprisoned pastor Saeed Abedini. And first of all, I want to say I'm sorry for not being able to make it to the conference in Marion, Indiana, to the Momentum Conference. And I uh, truly appreciate your prayers and support for Saeed and our family. Um, I, I realize that you're talking about Daniel. The, the theme this year is uh, Daniel and the Lion's Den. It's interesting because um, Many times throughout Saeed's imprisonment, I, I've thought about Saeed um, uh, being in the lion's den. You know, we look at Daniel's life and his com his faith and his commitment to uh, having a life of, uh, you know, devoted to prayer and, and his uh, life of faith and what happened to him. And uh, Saeed has kind of gone through the same thing. We, he's He was first uh, put in Evan prison, which is a, a notorious prison in, inside of Iran. And uh, he was because of his faith and because he, did, he stood strong for his faith and, and would not deny Christ. And he was sharing Christ in that prison. He was um, transferred to an exile prison uh, called Rajoy Shah prison about an hour and a half away from uh, the initial prison. And he was put in the murder ward. And he was told by the head of this new prison that he, if, uh, if they even know he's a Christian, he would be killed by these murderers and rapists who were on or who were on death row and literally it was uh, when he was put in the murder where he was in the lion's den he was continuously threatened um, because he was a Christian and uh, he was covered with lies he wasn't doing very well physically and uh, you know, uh, some of the prisoners, some of the very um, well-known prisoners that were the most violent started having um, dreams about this guy named Jesus. This, and uh, so they, they accepted Jesus and they started actually to protect Said in that horrible prison. And, um, you know, we, we, we've seen God's faithfulness through throughout his imprisonment. He's been moved in and out of solitary confinement. Um, tortured and told to deny his Christian faith, but Said has refused and has stood strong in his faith and has been a witness wherever they've put him. Um, you know, uh, one thing that the Lord has really taught me this year has been um, being relentless and not giving up. Earlier this year, January of this year, I really was tired of all the travels and I thought, what difference is it making? It's been over two years, Said's still in prison. And I've tried to see the President of the United States. I haven't been able to have tri traveled multiple times to Washington, D.C. And I was feeling really hopeless and um, really wanted to give up. And the Lord really put on my heart to continue and to be persistent and relentless. And, um, and I actually started a three-week Daniel fast and just uh, refrained from um, pleasurable food. I, I didn't drink coffee or had chocolate for three weeks and I was just praying, seeking the Lord in this time and I was not, I, I continued in my prayer life, just, you know, stronger prayer life. And and two weeks into the fast, uh, President Obama came to Boise, Idaho and met with me, which is pretty amazing. I tried to meet, meet with him in Washington, D.C. and that never happened. And for him to actually come to Boise, Idaho and to meet with me was a miracle. And the Lord really showed me through this time that uh, how important it is not to give up and to continue to pray and uh, and you you know and seeing God's hand move with the meeting but also recently I returned from speaking before the European Parliament and the German Parliament I just spoke in front of our Congress um, a few days ago and uh, you know just seeing God's hand in it when we're persistent and seeing how God has used this uh, for the gospel, both inside of the Iranian prison, but also outside, I've been able to share with so many government officials about Jesus. And so my encouragement to you is, you know, uh, to not give up, to uh, be like a Daniel, despite the hardships, you know, being put through trials because of your faith, you know, what Daniel was put through and what my husband's being put through, not to give up and uh, seeing God's hand in it, you know, and, and seeing uh, seeing how God works when we're just we keep at it in our prayer life and we're faithful to Him and seeing uh, all these miracles happen, you know, and uh, that's my uh, that's my uh, prayer for you and my hope for you is uh, as, as there's, uh, you know, we're at a very hard um, generation, we're at a very hard time in our country and we need Daniels to be, uh, be light and we see at the end that the king actually believed in the God of Daniel and said, you're God and defended, you know, Daniel uh, after he came out of the lion's den 
And um, I want to ask you to continue to pray for our family. And during this difficult time, it's been very painful. Saeed's been go uh, going through a lot of uh, uh, trials. He has a lot of p physical pain, but also he's been, again, put in, in and out of solitary and in different situations. And uh, we need your prayer during this difficult time. And hopefully, um, maybe in the next conference, Saeed and I would be able to meet you in person. Thank you. God bless.